EastEnders villain Leslie Grantham, 71, is fighting for his life. The actor, who played Dirty Dan Watts on the BBC soap, is gravely ill. His representative told Mail Online that Grantham did not want to comment on his health but asked that the privacy of his family and friends be respected. Grantham has returned to the UK from Bulgaria, where he has been living for a number of years, to be under the care of doctors. He moved from the UK to Bulgaria following the breakdown of his marriage after 31 years. He filmed the soap The English Neighbour in the Country in 2010. Leslie played the Queen Vic landlord Dirty Den from 1985 to 1989. The legendary actor has received secret visits from his close showbiz pals, with one friend telling the son, Leslie is being looked after. Those who are close to him are hugely worried and are praying for his well-being. His representative also told the paper that Grantham was very poorly. He helped the soap pull in its biggest ever audience when over 30 million viewers tuned in to see him hand over divorce papers to lying wife Angie on Christmas Day 1986. But Dan earned his dirty nickname in the program after beating up his wife and impregnating a 16-year-old girl before he was apparently killed off in 1989. In 2003, however, Den was given a rather dubious resurrection when it was revealed that he had survived the assassination attempt and fled to Spain. Once back in Walford, Den quickly returned to his villainous ways, spreading mayhem for another two years until new wife Creasy battered him over the head with an iron doors top. She killed him off for good in the very pub he once owned and buried him in the cellar of the Queen Vic in an episode aired in 2005. It was viewed by 16.2 million people. Grantham enlisted in the British Army in 1965, being sent to West Germany with the Royal Fusiliers. In 1966, however, he was involved in a struggle with a taxi driver he was attempting to rob in Osnabrück, Lower Saxony. The driver, Felix Rees, was ultimately shot in the head and died. In 1967, Grantham was convicted of murder and sentenced to life imprisonment. It was during his time behind bars he spent 10 years in British jails that he first took to acting. He performed in many plays during his incarceration and was encouraged to pursue acting by Labour politician T. Dan Smith and actress Louise Jameson. In 2004, Grantham was exposed by a Sunday newspaper after he took part in webcam chats while masturbating and sucking his finger in his dressing room. He apologized to his family for the embarrassment, but later said he was set up. Grantham said he was so devastated after the scandal that he attempted suicide. After failing in all his attempts, he explained, I accepted that even at suicide I was C. After leaving EastEnders, Grantham played the pantomime villain in various productions. He also featured in two UK tours of Beyond Reasonable Doubt, a stage adaption of a Geoffrey Archer play. In 2006, he played Jimmy Collins, a man on the run from prison in the bill. He most recently appeared in The English Neighbor, a Bulgarian TV series based on a book of the same name. He revealed in 2015 that he would like to win a role in Coronation Street. Despite becoming infamous as one of Walford's most notorious residents, he confessed he had been offered a role in the ITV soap, 
before he ever starred in EastEnders, but turned it down But the actor admitted that his EastEnders fame might make it hard for audiences to accept him in another soap role It's difficult to get in now if you are well known in another soap, he said. I know Michelle Collins went into Corey, but I'll always be known as Dirty Den. In 2016, he told The Mirror that he had made some quite catastrophic diversions during his life. He added, But I'm safe in the knowledge that what I do now is good. Of course, I have regrets, but you can't go around wearing a hair shirt all your life, otherwise, you'll never get out of bed in the morning.